Hello, Macy here with my new video. Uh, this one took me a very long time to do, um, hence it being nearly a month since I last got a video out. Sorry for that. Um, well, as you can remember from my last video, we sent a brave Kerbonaut to Lathe in his search for life. Well, ever since then, it's been eating at me, eating at me terribly. He's there, he's on Lathe, he's all alone, we couldn't get him back. So, all this time, I have been attempting to design a ship or ships um, to somehow try and rescue him and bring him back, bring him back home to his adoring fans. He's famous now, you know. Um, okay, well, this was fraught with problems. Um, firstly, landing on lathe is relatively straightforward because of the atmosphere slowing you down just before you hit the ground and so on, you know. But getting off lave is a problem. Getting off lave is a real problem because that atmosphere is thick, it's choking, and any hope of designing a ship that can get from Kerbin to lave, rescue our crewmen, and get all the way home again, I have to abandon. I'd go as far as to say it's impossible, and believe me, I've tried. So we've stocked parts. If if any of you out there can prove me wrong, please post me a video and how you've done that because. I have really tried and I'd say it's impossible. So obviously the way to get around this is to take two ships to lathe. One is charged with turning up at lathe, landing, rescuing the crewmen and getting back to orbit. The second ship just has to come along for the ride, wait for the first ship to do its job, rendezvous with it and take the pilot from the first ship and the crewmen we've just rescued all the way home. To do this task, I initially designed two ships. Firstly, Interplanetary Transport A, whose job it is, is to simply get to lathe, achieve orbit, and then come home again. Um, relatively straightforward. The second ship I've designed is Maybug. Now, Maybug, emulating the first mission, is going to land, hopefully very close to where our crewman is, pick him up, and get back into orbit again. Unfortunately, after a great deal of effort and time, this first mission failed. I did actually get to lathe. I managed to land quite close to where our stranded crewman was. But very soon became apparent that it didn't have enough fuel to get back into orbit. So close, yet so far. So back to the design board. So I just ended that flight. and um, But I decided to keep the transport ship here in orbit and await my next incarnation to fly out and meet it because he'd had a very successful flight so far especially with the aero braking and the amount of fuel he's managed to save so I'm going to leave him and our little friend on the surface in cryogenic freezing and um, send another ship out which is Mojo now this ship's a bit of a hybrid as you can see it's more of a rocket but it does have Atmo engines to get me off lathe so I've gone about it in a slightly different way. So anyway, this is going to fly out to lathe. It's going to land, rescue our stranded crewmen, get back into orbit from where it will rendezvous with the transport ship, which will then take all three crewmen home. And that is what this video is about. So I hope you enjoy it. And it took me a very long time. the great deities of the past.
place that's caught in the spirals that involve intellectual advance or now we know it, so on. That's all like little ripples on the ocean. It all is this incredibly creative act, and you can do anything, and you can play any way you want to. But the, but the, but the place we share is the place that stands nowhere. Not the place that's caught in the spirals that involve intellectual advance, or now we know it, so on. That's all like little ripples on the ocean. We are literally at a position where, uh, collectively, working in harmony, we can do most of the things that, uh, uh, and take the responsibilities, which in the past have been attributed to the great deities of the past.
from that place, it all is this incredibly creative act, and you can do anything, and you can play any way you want to. But the, but the, but the place we share is the place that stands nowhere. Not the place that's caught in the spirals that involve intellectual advance or now we know it, so on. That's all like little ripples on the ocean.
and, and don't you want to keep everybody right at the edge of the form and the formless? Because that's where the ultimate act of creation is.